Okay, so, so the amount of kinetic energy, blah, 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 depends on what? Speed. Mass speed. The speed Mass. of the Where's object. And the mass of the object. So the car that we added more mass to went further, meaning it has more energy. And the car that we pushed, giving it more speed, had more energy because it went further. So we did two experiments to show that. Now the amount of kinetic energy an object contains can be calculated. So, whoa, I just thought of a cool lab. So if we did that and used a ticker timer to find out the actual speed of the object, and we knew the mass of the object, we can do this. Maybe we should do a lab on that. I think so. Maybe not today because I'm not organized. Well, just fine. We will do it. Okay. So, how do you calculate it? EK. EK stands for kinetic energy. So the K is like a subscript, meaning it's small. It's like a little tiny note beside it. <coughs> Equals half M V squared. So half times M times V squared. Can you go 0.5? Yes. Is the V, it's not brackets, right? No, but the, the square only applies to the V. So, what does this mean? E is kinetic energy in joules. With a J for joules. M is the mass of the object in kilograms, and we show that with a K, little K, and a little G, kilograms. Speed or velocity of the object is measured in meters per second. Just like always, like from before, and we represent it with an M over S for meters per <coughs> second. Now, if the problem asks you to find speed or mass instead of kinetic energy, you can use the following formulas. And these are the ones that are on your formula sheet that I gave you, okay? So you don't have to rearrange it. So you can use, well, I'm going to show you how to rearrange it, so just follow me, but you are given it. So if we start with EK equals half MV squared, and say I want to solve for M, well you think to yourself, M is attached, it's multiplied by a half, so to get rid of multiplying by a half, you... So I divide by a half, and I divide by a half. Dividing by a half is the same as, so if I go divide by a half, if you instead want to change your sign and you flip the um, fraction, multiply by the reciprocal, anyways, you cross off your halves, and you're left with EK divided by a half, I won't go into that yet, is equal to M V squared. So I said I want to solve for M. Oopsies, too much. Okay, no, I will go with it. Dividing by a half is the same as multiplying by two, so I can say this is two EK is equal to m v squared. I said I wanted to solve for m. m right now is multiplied by v squared. What's the opposite of multiplying by v squared? Divide by v squared. Divide by. 
v squared. <coughs> so the v squareds cross off, and I'm left with 2ek divided by v squared is equal to m. Look at your formula sheet. Can you find that on the one that I just gave you today? It's like this. Yep. Yeah? Okay. So if I need you to start learning how to do this because once we get to physics 20, you have to do this and way more. Okay, so you need to learn this skill, but for science 10, I'll give it to you. Okay? But just know if you want to go into physics 20, you need to start developing this skill. Okay, so that's another formula if, you're, if it's looking for mass. Now, what if it's asking for speed? So we start with ek equals half mv squared. And say I want to solve for v. I want to get v all by itself. Like without the squared? Without the squared. But the squared is the very last thing I'm going to deal with. The okay. very last thing. So right now the v squared is multiplied by m. Or let's deal with the half first again. So right now it's multiplied by a half. So I divide by a half. Divide by a half. That gets rid of my halves. So I'm left with ek divided by a half is equal to mv squared. Again, dividing by a half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. So I have 2ek is equal to mv squared. It means the same thing as what I just did. I didn't change anything. Now say I want to solve for v. Oh, right, v. V is multiplied by m. The opposite of multiplying is divide by m, divide by m. M's cross out. I'm left with 2ek divided by m is equal to v squared. But I'm not done, because there's still a squared attached to my v. So what's the opposite of being squared? Square. square rooting. So I square root both sides. The square root and the square now cancel, and I'm left with the square root of 2ek divided by m. Everything is in the square is equal to v. Can you find that formula on your formula sheet? That's where it came from. Again, I want you to develop the skill of rearranging, but the formula itself will be given to you for now. Science test. Is that formula on this part of the sheet? Yes, the good question. So the EK equals half mv squared. Is at the very bottom of your other formula sheet. Ek is half mv squared. Yeah. At the very bottom. They don't have them rearranged. No, they don't have them rearranged though. They just give it to you as one. 